bad news. Harriet can't make it. Surprise, surprise. What? Well, she's finally answered her phone. Says the Bible bus has broken down and it'll be mid-afternoon before she can make it. Well, can't she just jump on a train? Maybe she doesn't want to, eh? What are you looking at me for? Anyway, she's roped in some poor old vicar mate from Ripon, I think she said. So, full steam ahead. Oh, isn't this lovely? Handed down from Belle and Sarah. <laughs> you had one just like this. <laughs> oh, no, I never. <laughs> Got the photos to prove it. Oh, you'll have to show us. Shouldn't you be putting your suit on, anyway? Mine doesn't want me there. You've got every right to be there. He's your kid. Well, she's not going. Well, yeah, cos I've got college. What's your excuse? Oh, uh, good news. We've we found another solicitor. Yeah, no help from Mr Pollard. Yeah, but he can only fit us in this morning. Well, make sure you're back in time for church. Uh, we'll do our best. Poor little Mike doesn't want to feel abandoned by anybody else. And I've got to get up to Moira's. And I'm running late. Ken, give your mum a lift. I've got a garage to run. Oh, we're full of excuses this morning. He's your little boy. He disappeared for the best part of 30 years. Don't start trying to rub me life now. Well, from now on, keep his toenails trimmed. Mm, sound advice. Make sure you follow it yourself. <laughs> hey, um, how's your... Thing? Ow! Taz. No, it's fine. It's fine. It looks worse than it is. I feel terrible. Mm, don't worry. Accidents happen. Ready? Yeah, yeah I, I, I've been thinking, maybe it'd be better off missing the christening and going with Ronald to the PTA meeting, just, just to smooth things over a bit. Thank you for the offer, Paddy, but I think it's probably best if you keep a low profile. I'm really sorry about having a go at Daphne. Well, it's fine. It's about time somebody put her in her place. I know, but if I've caused more grief... Paddy, I can handle it. Now, go on, go. Have fun. Oh, no, christenings aren't fun. Mm. Um, but we're having drinks later, if you fancy it. Yeah. Sorry. When I told you to go for it, I had no idea him and Chaz would. It doesn't matter. OK? If they're happy, then I'm happy. Except you're not. Paddy's been worrying about you all morning. Has he? Reckons every time he's tried to talk to you, you find something important to do. Oh, well, I've been preparing for this meeting. I need to try and win Daphne round. You're here. Why bother? Because Leo needs a TA. Well, didn't Jessie say that she's not as big and important as she likes to make out? Yeah, but she's still got half the PTA dancing to her tune, bossy cow. Are you sure all that isn't just a distraction? Yes, sir. Leo is the only thing that matters, and whoever Paddy chooses to share his bed with is utterly insignificant. He's moved on. I need to do the same. We're late. I am holding you directly responsible. Vic, relax. Everything is on schedule. We're meant to be at the church in an hour. An hour is ages. Seriously, stop stressing. You're only the godmother. Only? She's worked her little socks off. What have I said now? Hey, you look wiped out. Fine. Did you get any sleep last night? I said I'm fine. You know, I never used to get a wink with Kane. <laughs> Proper little drama queen. Whereas Char, she used to sleep right through. Come on! Hey, give him a break. He's only a few weeks old. Seriously, if it's too much, we can cancel. We cannot. I've arranged a buffet. Oh, stink you You know where the nappies are. I'll do it. You just make sure everyone turns up to the church on time. Feet! little madam. You know, it's only a few hours. You can do this. I am fine. How many more times? OK. Is this all you've got? Your best one's long gone. Most people didn't leave it to the last minute. Mm. Can you lend us a pen? Oh, dear. What have you done now? Oh. oh just Eric being Eric. <laughs> it's never a good idea to get on the wrong side of my sis. Look, I'm, uh, I'm running late. Can I pay for this later? Uh, they were threatening to knock my house down. I know, but that's no excuse to do the dirty on your mates. Hmm. 
Well, I'm Tracy up and I'll have you. Sam, I'm really sorry about the solicitor. Not sorry enough to put your hand in your pocket. It wouldn't have made any difference. Well, that's where you're wrong. Cos my dad's found a bloke who reckons you can help us. Honestly, you'd be wasting your money. At least we're not wasting yours, eh? Thanks. The last thing I want is for them to lose their home. Well, then you better make sure they don't. Are you joining us, Sam? Oh, uh, um, maybe later. We're just off to solicitors. Hey, when's your adoption meeting? This afternoon. Oh, good luck. I never had too many babies in the family, hey? Goodness crossed. <laughs> Nothing wrong with his lungs. No. I am lucky. Except when he wakes up to be fed, otherwise he sleeps all the time. I think my dad's plying him with brandy. Well, we'd best not keep the liquor waiting. Have fun. See you in a bit. Bye. Come on, you. Moira, are you ready? Yeah. See you later. Bye. We'll get our bags pinched. Mm. Are you Napa? We'll get our bums pinched. I could live with that. <laughs> Florida's hot in November. Kids and old people. Mm, I get enough of that at home. Mm. Why don't we let Jimmy decide? Decide what? We're planning a holiday. I thought we were supposed to be saving the money for something sensible. Mm, second thoughts, nothing wrong with the odd little treat. <sighs> well, I'm glad you said that. What do you think? You bought yourself a fur coat? Well, obviously it's not real fur. See, this is why we shouldn't have told him. <laughs> I just wanted to look classy for a change. By dressing like a pimp? I like it and it's my money and all. Ah, except it isn't, because in theory we stole that betting slip. Uh, hardly theoretical, which is why we need to be discreet. If we start going crazy, we're going to draw attention to ourselves. Mm, good point. I'm sorry, Jimmy, that's got to go back. No way! I'm putting my foot down. Oh, yes, this is she. Well, so am I. Oh, uh, right. Um, no, 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 that's fine. Um, if you text me the address, I'll be there right away. OK, bye. Who was that? Mrs Domfrey's solicitor. Wants to see me urgently. Any news about Emma? Still dead, last I heard. No more arrests than you. But Adam's innocent. No one suggesting otherwise, Pet. Hey, up. Still no sign of my worthless brother. Oh, Zach or Sam. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Uh, look, Lynn, I am dying for the loo. Is there any chance you could watch Seb? Lucky? Yeah, whatever. I'm not sure about this. He'll give him a chance to bond. <laughs> Sir. Don't start. Change it. Then you do it. Why don't you have a go? He's your cousin. He's the brat of Rebecca and your ex husband. I don't even know why you're bothering with him. I don't know why I bother with you sometimes. Fine, I'll go and get him a nappy. Well, I didn't hit him, did I? OK, what is wrong with you? Oh, get stuff, Mum. Bex, I'm so sorry. From now on, I don't want him anywhere near my baby. Isaac, I baptise you in the name of the Father and of the Son 
and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 May God, who has received you by baptism into his church, pour upon you the riches of his grace, that within the company of Christ's pilgrim people, you may daily be renewed by his anointing spirit and come to the inheritance of the saints in glory. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you, see you again. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, he really is the most beautiful boy in the world. Of course he is. Runs in the family, doesn't it, mate? You're so lucky, you know. Yeah, well, at least you stopped crying now. Adam, do not jinx it. Sorry. Right, we need to get to the adoption meeting, but we'll celebrate properly when we get back. Is that okay, Myra? Yeah, very cool. See ya. what Moira said. Kane should have been here. He's always been a law unto himself, you both have. Couldn't you do better for yourself? Ignore her. Oi, you don't get to choose my boyfriends. All the same. Got my eye on you. Mm, you should be focused on Kane. He's a bloke. We both know what they're like. You're no great role model yourself. Chaz, I've done my best. Yes, I know. Why can't you see what's what? I mean, that kid needs two parents, not just one. Well, it's a pity neither of them realises that. Oh, don't be too hard on him, eh? Well, uh, actually, I, I probably owe you an apology. Do you? Yeah, we, we went to see that solicitor. And what did you say? Well, nothing useful, but... Turns out you were right not to waste your money. Ah, oh, they can't just knock your house down. They're filthy rich. They can do what they like. Well, sorry I couldn't help. <laughs> That's OK. You did your best. Yeah. I can't get hold of Belle. Huh? Oh, she's on a biology test. Yeah, she'll be here in a bit. Right. You OK? Oh. Looks like you're not the only ones having a bad day. Listen, are you sure there's nothing you can do? That Morris Blakey has stitched us up good and proper. You're still going to lose your house? <sighs> Unless we get a miracle. What you need to do is prove what a smarmy little git Morris really is. I might be able to arrange that. Just uh, give me a minute. Did it go? Oh, great. I wish I could have been there. <laughs> Did Dad and Sam not make it? No, they didn't. Well, their loss. Come on, let's have some tequila slammers. Oh, one of the mother and child, perhaps? Oh, yes. Come on. Oh, yes, get your picture face on. Photo with me. Come on, love. It's meant to be a happy occasion. Sorry. <laughs> Right, give that to Jack and that one to Sarah, that room. Why can't you do it? Kind of rushed off my feet. Is there it's charity not helping you out? When is she ever useful? Hiya. How did Ron's meeting go? I'm not your go-between. Ask yourself when she gets here. Rude. The thing is, I kind of get the impression she's trying to avoid me. No, Paddy. She's busy sorting out your mess. Yeah, but yesterday you said me having a go at Daphne was a good thing. Yeah, I know, but... There's always fallout in there. Here you go, darling. Don't say I never give my man anything. Mm. <laughs> Why is she all over him? Where have you been, Doug? Hey, you OK? Uh, yeah, yeah. Just knackered. <laughs> Still, not like we can send him back, is it? Do you want another orange juice? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> wow, is it 1975 already? See? I told you you look ridiculous. Doesn't he always? Must have set you back. Yeah, he got it with his compo money from the golf club developers. <laughs> Blood money more like. Your Aaron got paid out and all. Not yet, he hasn't. He's not going to take it anyway. Right, if you could put Loverboy down for a minute, I'll have a tomato juice. Mm. Ooh. You and Chaz? Uh, is that wise? 
remember what happened last time. <laughs> <laughs> Two ten, please. Oh, and an orange juice for Moira. Where is Moira? Fix the bus, then. Ah, uh, yeah. It was a flat tyre. No. Did you take the job? Still up in the air. Right. How was the christening? I wouldn't know. What, you didn't go? Moira didn't want me there. Oh, I was hoping you two might have mended some fences while I was away. <sighs> Not much chance of that. That's a shame. Well, you should be pleased. Why? Well, me and Moira raising a kid, it doesn't really work for us, does it? Kane, there is no us anymore. That's why I went to Oxford. Mr. Dingle. Hi. Oh, I, I'm so pleased you've seen reason. <laughs> Sorry, uh, who are you? She's a mate of Lachlan's. Molly Goff. Hot and courier. She's here to report on what you're up to. I don't understand. I, I thought on the telephone you said you wanted to reach a settlement. Settle? Were you? Over my dead body? Look, uh, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm too busy for all of this. Yeah, that's it. Walk away. Us little people mean nothing to you, do we? Just so long as you can line your pockets. Oh, that's a serious allegation. Can you prove it? You lot. Too slippery for that. I appreciate how disappointed you are, but there really is no alternative. Yeah, there is. So you can sling your stupid access road somewhere else. We've conducted numerous surveys. This is the only viable route. The others are either prone to subsidence or valuable farming land. But we've got farm animals. I'm really sorry. No way are you kicking us out of our home without a fight. Mr Dingle... I know how hard this must be for you, but it's going to happen. And as I told you, most people see this as a golden opportunity to improve their lifestyles. We're not most people. What is going on? Amy, treat me like a five-year-old. No, no, I'm simply saying let's sit down and talk about this sensibly. Better still, let's not. Hey! Hey. How'd you go? Oh, don't ask. Oh, did you manage to make the peace with Daphne? Sort of. She's volunteered me to help out with the school nativity. What? Well, that's like mega big, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's her way of punishing me. But you know what? Bring it on. I'm going to make that show the best the school has ever put on. Leo is having a TA and I don't care what it takes. Good for you. <laughs> Got him. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> it won't last. Never asked before. Don't miss. The officer still want him. Yeah, well, he's with her now. Only just. And only because he thinks you're not interested. Is that really the reason? You won't know unless you ask him. No, honestly, Rona, this is your last chance to tell him how you feel. It's now or never. We agreed not to draw attention to ourselves. Some of us have minds of our own. I might be in the doghouse, but at least I've got this to keep me warm. Uh, all right. Do you want the good news or the bad news? <sighs> what? Mrs Dumfries has named me in her will... Yes! ..to be the person who does her hair for the funeral. Gross. Gets worse. Her solicitor is trying to track down her long-lost relative. She's got relatives? Just the one. So not only have we robbed a dead woman, we've also robbed her rightful heir of their inheritance. Hey, what are you doing with that? Talking's over. Now, you cancelled that compulsory purchase order and I won't be responsible for my action. Mr Dingley, are you threatening me? Zach, let's not do anything we'll regret, eh? I won't regret out. Now what? Uh, your dad's going to waste this council work. Right, and who's this? Oh, she's just a journalist. She's going to put it in the paper. She's going to put on in prison more like Dad does. I'm protecting our home. Bell's right. You made your point. 
I thought you were my side. I am. We all are. What? We, we, we're offering you a good deal. It five percent over the current housing price. What do you say to that? I say this. Someone stop him. So what have you made of our adoption agency? Yeah, we love it, don't we, babes? Yeah. Where do we sign? Well, you'll have to fill this in first. Yeah, we can do that. And then what? Well, once completed and you're happy with your character references, we'll do the local authority, the police and the medical checks. Right. Is that a problem? Of course not. We've got nothing to hide. You seem like a very loving young couple. I'm sure that if you've been honest with us, it'll all be fine. Yeah, yeah, of course it will. And our family is behind us 100%. Yeah, my mum's just had a baby, so we can share childcare and everything. Is that right? You can't come in here. You don't need to do this anymore. Mum? Yeah, I don't want them. Take them. Mum, what are you doing? It's all yours now. Problem solved. And we're back in Emmerdale in half an hour.